Um, so that's a little ucky, but let's take a look at it in the big picture of things, Sag. Um, Knight of Swords does look like you may have had some biting conversations with someone, something about the past. You may be releasing some either toxic words, toxic relationships, somebody else's opinion. Um, this red is kind of flying here, so it does feel like anger has fueled some motion, which, you know, that's good. Um, sometimes it takes us getting really pissed off to make those changes, but it does look like you're healing. This orange color is lighting up for me. Uh, it does feel like you're healing, but it does feel like some ha someone has presented something to you that you've just had to cut through the jive or the BS um, to get to the meat of the issue. This can also be a little gossipy, uh, but it, it's basically standing up for what you believe in and standing up for yourself. Um, the world is what crosses you here. So it does look like you're on the brink. You're on the precipice of really starting some new things, things you've wanted to do for a while. The world is opening up for you. It does feel like your self-saboteur may be getting in the way or um, just cleaning up the rest of this karma to release it and the world is above you which you know the world is it can go any direction the world is open to you it also expands your awareness that you're not just thinking about you know your little local city you may be thinking a little grander uh, but like the world the world is your oyster and and opportunities abound. Sometimes we just need to release some of these frustration to see what other options we have to choose. Um, so it may be towards the, the same direction, but it does feel like um, broaden your awareness to achieve it. It doesn't just have to happen this way. There are other avenues. All roads lead to Rome kind of thing, Sagittarius. So there is the nine here. This is above you. So it does feel like whatever these issues are have been kind of seeping into your night space. Uh, you may be challenged on finding, uh, being able to sleep or your mind meets may be so active that you're having nightmares. This also can be for the creature comforts, uh, eating, sleeping, you know, drinking enough water, things like that. So it does look like your creature comforts are a little disturbed um, due to um, something that's laying heavy in your heart and in your head right now. Uh, Queen of Cups is here and um, she's usually an exalted person. She is a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. This does feel like you may have reached out for some help. Um, and um, so you're getting a little bit more information. You know, the queen, she, the queen of cups, she's about love and emotions. So this may be you just getting in touch with those emotions. It can be as simple as that or as complex as a water sign that's kind of helping you through those emotions. But it does look like an unconditional love, um, someone that has no vested interest uh, one way or the other, other than to uh, help facilitate your happiness. So it does look like it is a friend, not a foe, and someone that is kind of helping you juggle or helping you get some clarity on these issues. Um, then Eight of Pentacles is right here, and he's gathering information. He's a fact finder. Um, you know, this could be doing research on, in, on the Internet. It could be going back to school. It could be even taking a class or a seminar to up your own current skills. But it does look like you are collecting information to better yourself or to better your situation. Um, and it does look like it's in the form of um, a school of some kind, gaining knowledge gaining knowledge. The Ace of Swords is right here, and the Ace of Swords, um, it's, it's a God card, it's what I call God cards. Um, for those of you who are in the atheist space, it is um, kind of why part of why we are here to learn. Um, the Ace of Swords is, can be very cutting, it's very quick. Um, it also can be, you know, watch your words, um, speak with authority, 
Um, don't get in the lower levels of like name calling and stuff. It is kind of on this level here, which is the betrayal can be the divorce or um, uh, releasing of a relationship. So it does look like some discussions are in order. Be of, of in great in integrity. Uh, speak with love and kindness, even if those that you are speaking with do not just take the high road. But it does look like all this hard work that you've been doing, Sag, for the last, gosh, feels like 24 months, maybe even longer, is now starting to pay off. You're starting to see the little rewards and the growth here these uh the green is lighting up for me so it does feel like you are growing that you are expanding your awareness that you are firmly on your path and it feels a little bit more comfortable it does feel like you may have released relationships friendships um taken a step back from family members who are a little toxic um, it does feel like this is the general theme for november um, but it does feel like you're going to rise above that and that the big picture is right in front of you as you are collecting this information. So it does feel like you're going more and more towards your soul purpose here on Earth, Sagittarius. So the basis of all this, it does feel like you have hit some betrayal. You have hit either some gossip or some negativity that really kind of forced you to look at some stuff. Um, I don't feel like this is currently happening. I feel like this is a pain from the past that has helped you propel into that much needed motion and change. Change of could be even your core values, could be your relationship space, but it does look like it had to take you down in the deep, dark depths for, for you to make some changes. Not that you were ignoring it. It does feel like you were just going with the flow a little bit, but it does feel like it all came to a head. It all came to some culmination of some kind with something that you just couldn't ignore that was not healthy for you anymore. So in order to heal yourself, it does feel like you cashed off the shackles of whatever that agreement was and that you could move forward. It does, here's another 10 right on top of it. So it does feel like your burden is pretty heavy this month, um, that you are slowly releasing some things and being able to heal yourself. I am feeling like talking it out. Um, I am feeling like um, you have a really good support system that you haven't tapped into in a while. So you may want to make some calls to those girlfriends or boyfriends friends or family members that really love you unconditionally so to just to help sort your mind out because there's a lot of stuff on your plate right now and you can't possibly make it to the end of your journey trying to be responsible for all these things. Um, so just pick one thing at a time, but your burden feels very heavy now. This could be a metaphor for a um, emotional burden as well as a physical burden. So it does look like you are sorting, you are going through things, you are uh, releasing stuff. This is a nine. It is right before the 10. So it does look like you are really taking note at the lessons that you learned from the past, really letting go of uh, people, places, and things that no longer serve you, holding on to the things that will help you reach your um, future goal. You're doing a, quite a lot of healing here. This white around his head is kind of lighting up. Um, I'm feeling for some of you, it may just be that overthinking and kind of stuck in the thinking place. For others of you, it may be uh, manifesting into headaches um, or even, you know, maybe as simple as um, you may have to have your vision checked, but there is some pain or anguish around your head area that needs to be looked at. And if it's just the sorrow that you're going through, um, Go ahead and release what you can. The rest will kind of follow. Um, it's it's the domino theory. Um, once you release the first, second things, then it's easier to release the rest. But it does look like it's manifesting in a physical way. This could also be this lack of sleep and kind of a groggy feel because you are not sleeping um, like the rejuvenative sleep. Okay, so what is at the top here is the two. This can be the soulmate card. This can be the love card. But it does feel like this medical insignia, insignia is lighting up. So what is ever happening on that interpersonal relationship, it's kind of making you sick. It's making you sick to your stomach. And it doesn't necessarily mean this 
a married part, parent, marriage partner, life partner. Um, this could be any relationship, but there's something happening that's just kind of disgusting you. Um, and this is kind of bringing it home for me. So there was something either done or said or something that feels like a betrayal to you that kind of came out of the blue that really isn't working for you. So it does feel like you are embracing the sun and new beginnings, places that places, people and things that you thought you would never uh, shift to. But it does feel like your core value system has kind of been rocked, been shaken by these two two bits. Well, three, actually. It does feel like that you're doing some work and you're releasing some pain from the past. And it does feel like there's nothing really new, but a new situation may have arisen for you to take a closer look at it. And for many of you, it may have been either an affair, a lie, a betrayal of the heart, uh, gossip, um, things like that. But it does look like some negative in a negative situation really gave you the clarity that you needed. So you're taking a really crappy situation, you know, you know they say you can make lemon lemonade out of lemons type of thing. So it does look like you were kind of taken aback, um, really kind of shocked in this, and now you're ready to start from scratch. So for those of you that are reevaluating your relationship, a big shift may have happened or a release may have happened, Sagittarius. I know you guys do things pretty quickly, pretty quickly, um, but um, it does look like there was a lead up to it and that now you have made a full decision, whether that is... Um, continuing a relationship and making it better, getting into counseling, taking a look at this, but the truth will set you free. It does feel like something was um, either manipulative uh, around you or um, dishonest and that you it was revealed to you, which changed the whole situation. The sun is here. This is very encouraging. This is new beginnings. This is taking great ideas from from the ether and bringing it into physical form. It also can be starting over from scratch. There's a lot of enthusiasm around this. and um, But it does feel more like it's on the love space. It is not on the work space. Um, although it does feel like you are um, creating more skills for yourself, either to better yourself in the job, get a new job, um, or um, work for that promotion something like that. But it does feel like there's new beginnings on the horizons. All is not lost. This does look like it was a very painful journey for you, Sagittarius. Um, really brought up some anger and maybe some old stuff um, that is time to release that's no longer serving you. So once that is all taken care of, the sun is here, starting things new, um, and really... Um, creating from that wonderful place of abundance, love, and joy. So it does feel like that was a little challenging for you over the, maybe the last 12, 24 months is finding your bliss. It does look like you are finding your bliss a little bit more, but it took some really nasty caca to come um, full circle for you to take a look at it the way that it truly is and to find out how to deal with this but it does look like it is all um all been in your awareness so let's throw a couple of these uh angels and abundance cards for for clarity release jealousy um so this may have been an affair this may have been a flirtation something that was not in line with your sacred union and it does look like it pissed you off, Miss, Ms. or Mr. Sagittarius. So attracting, not chasing. So the first one is jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something and the universe manifests exactly as you affirm. Let other people's successes inspire rather than frustrate you. If they can have it, so can you. So yeah, take some of that um, negative energy if you have any and put it into really committing to uh, perfecting something for yourself. You are perfect the way you are and you are enough. 
So attracting, not chasing anything or anyone you chase after will run the other way because of the fears underlining chasing energy. Instead, attract what you need by sending out love, gratitude, and welcoming the energy. So it does feel like both of these cards are about shifting your mental perspective. You know, we focus on the negative Spirit tends to create that, especially if we focus on that. So if you can superimpose that negative with a positive and what you would like to manifest out of this situation, see the outcome, the positive outcome, instead of dwelling on the negative that is happening, then the mind can pick that up and run with it and manifest it into your, um, into your life. 